welcome or welcome back to my channel it's still your baby girl you know how we do it gloria and today hey i've got someone like if you don't know this youtuber <laughs> where have you been scholastica see before i even brought her, I had to ask her what's the meaning of that scholastica because it sounds like you know <laughs> <laughs> so i've got someone very special someone very she's been on youtube for a very long time and she's in northern ireland i've got her here wait i'll just leave her to do her own introduction so please can you just kindly tell us about yourself and thank you for coming thank you for having me hello everybody my name is scholastica i'm an Nigerian trained nurse but i live in northern ireland i've been here for over three years so this is my fourth year now I work in a nursing home and yeah, that's it. Good. Since that I've been here, I've been working in this nursing home. The pay is good. And I came to Northern Ireland because of the cost of living. I've been doing my calculations before I even came here. When I got, um, because back home, when we are still in Nigeria, then agencies we are still offering to bring people here. So there are different options. It's not like how it is right now that it's hard to find a job. They had different options then where do you want to work they will even ask you so i was like it's either i pick scotland or northern ireland <laughs> so after doing my calculations i decided on northern ireland it was just the cheapest place for me and see you're already entering our video <laughs> see she's too loaded she's just eager to tell you people to go okay, to northern ireland okay, i'm going to keep quiet see i know you're going to win this battle but i'm giving <laughs> myself a chance to win because we're going to see who we decide who you can convince with this viewpoint of yours because you're i'm going to convince you see by the time i finish this video you're going to pack your bags and come to northern island <laughs> even you you said you were considering scotland that means yes. you had the tendency to land in scotland but anyway that's good you're already going into the video actually because you're so low, she's so loaded that she wants to just <laughs> convince you people. So my first question is, in fact, she's even started already. You know, this is the chunk. This is like the most... <laughs> <laughs> even me, when I was coming to the UK, it's just like you. Although, it's like you're my senior, because I'm just over three years. Then agencies I'm were just over me. three years, so probably oh, all right. at the same time. Okay. Yeah. I, I came here March, March 2019. All right, May. Okay, May was May and May. No, no, no. Was it March? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But we just renewed our visa, so okay. I'm already in my fourth year. Yeah. Right. I think it was okay. March, March or April, there about. Okay. All right. So just about the same time. Then as well, my agencies were like uh, the agency I use. Of course, I always talk about the MMA. They wanted to see if uh, they asked what where I wanted to go, and I wanted Northern Ireland. What happened then was the agency I came with, they didn't have any branch. Even up to now, they don't have any branch in Northern Ireland, but they've See, got... Wait, let, let me even tell you what happened in my case. Yeah. So I had different offers, especially from the hospital, but most of them were in Scotland or England. And then MMA reached out to me. I was like, MMA. we have a post in Northern Ireland, but they are not doing interview yet. I was like, don't worry, I will wait. All right. I will wait. So I waited for this Northern Island job because I really wanted to come to Northern Island. All right. I'm keeping quiet now. Yeah, it's Continue. all right. That's the thing. I would have waited, but then, you know, I was already desperate. I wanted to leave, <laughs> you know, then. So, yes. So they said there was no branch in Northern Ireland, but they had in Scotland. I had no clue whatsoever. I never knew anybody in Scotland. Nobody was making YouTube video about Scotland. Nothing nothing i searched and searched i'm like okay that's where i want to go i want to go and learn about the place and that was how i landed in scotland like so i know northern ireland is huh, everybody wants to move to northern ireland everybody that's likes northern true. ireland northern ireland so what is so special about this northern ireland let me start with the rent how is rent in northern ireland rent is very 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 cheap seriously see if you go to property park just check northern island you see a lot of cheap options that house that you are staying is cheaper because i checked scotland too but that same house you get it cheaper in northern island so how much is rent like this is my house now it's a four bedroom apartment i don't even need that much space 
Yeah. When I came in, it was just me and I didn't even need that space, but it was so cheap. I was like, I'm not going to pay 500 pounds for a two bedroom when I can get that same 500 pounds for a four bedroom. So this house is a four bedroom apartment and I'm paying just 500 pounds. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait. Yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> 500 pounds that's one reason why i've not even thought of leaving this place because i know that there is no way i will get this kind of house in another place i'm sorry my eyes are very <laughs> big and i'm hoping in the more i'm in shock look when i'm searching for houses i don't ever go above three bed because i know that it's not in my category it's not in my standard of living because it's very expensive yeah really mm-hmm a house yep. or a flat yep 500 pounds things are expensive now because of the inflation so it's not like when i came in but if you still go online and check now i think if you budget about 600 mm, 600 is still much but let's say around 600 just to be safe if you budget like 600 you'll get this kind of house very For beautiful a house. Room. <laughs> yes in northern ireland and um, wait when i even say northern ireland not everywhere in northern ireland is cheap so let me just make that okay. clear if okay. you go to the city center like the heart of northern ireland yes. Belfast, Belfast. that yeah that side is a bit expensive but if you are not really interested in being in a very big city if you want to go to the outskirts like the small small um i'm not going to call them villages <laughs> But like the small communities, those small, small areas, yeah, you get a very fine place for a good sum of money. So, my, yeah. My house is a three bedroom house and it's in one of the cheap, cheap area in Scotland. The the one where, li where we're living before, because we just moved here in December, where we're living before, it was also a three bedroom. I was paying seven hundred and twenty pound every month, <laughs> but right now in this current house, which I thought was very cheap, we are paying six hundred and sixty pound every month for a three bedroom, one bathroom. <sighs> it's still well. It's still okay. It's, it's still, still okay. Still okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's still okay, but I'm not going to pay that amount here. For that kind of house seriously so but like, it's still okay for scotland wow, really that's very 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 that's one zero yeah. like big one one zero okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> and another important part as well which is still i still don't understand how you guys do it is the council tax we in scotland we pay council tax i pay about 120 something every month for my council tax mm, hope you are taking note of the strikes because <laughs> i'm going to strike you as again <laughs> in so, northern island we don't pay council tax that is two zero now we don't pay water bills three zero <laughs> so how wh how do you function because i don't know how we function without car how do you guys function with your trash I think there's a way the government already, I don't know how they worked it out, but I think there's an agreement or something down already. But for me, I don't pay council tax. I don't pay water bills. <laughs> I don't. Oh my, that's about saving almost over 200 and something already. Mm -hmm. yes, it, there was a time I actually thought it was included in the rent. Oh. But there was nothing like that listed in my contract. No. But there was one time I thought that, okay, if they are not even saying it out that you are paying so so amount for council tax, maybe it's already included in the rent. But there was nothing like that in my contract. So I'm just taking it that I don't pay council tax and I don't pay water bills. I just pay my rent. And that's it. Two zero. Accepted. Agreed. We know. Two zero. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about electricity and your gas so how how does it work how much do you pay okay electricity i think this is the one you are going to win me <laughs> maybe you will win me in this mm -hmm. part electricity it's a bit expensive mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when we came in first we were paying um how much were we using 100 
I think we were using around 50 to 100 pounds. In, no, no, it, it was not 200. When we first came in, we were using about 50 pounds every month. Okay. But now we are using 51 pounds weekly. Ooh. So the thing is that Northern Ireland is cold. So there are some people that use gas to heat their house. So that one will also add to their own tariff. There's a way they use it. I use oil, so I have to buy my oil separately. Okay. Yeah. I have to buy oil separately. That's even another expenses. But heating the house is expensive. Electricity is expensive in Northern Ireland. Maybe it's the same in other places, or maybe Scotland might be a bit better. Just I, I'm going to win here. <laughs> just a bit, a bit better. <laughs> just a bit better. But before we even decide who is winning here, hmm? I've already said my own that I'm paying fifty one pounds weekly every week. That's two hundred yes, every week. Two hundred and four. Yes, every month. So how much are you spending on your? You own? see, for you <laughs> for small family, family of five. Mm -hmm. we heat all the time in, in winter and we'll come to the weather so i'm not talk about the weather fail because i don't want to fail now i don't want to spoil my own shine that i'm shiny small small <laughs> but before to be sincere in our previous house it was so we were top up it was top up so that one you pay as you use and it was crazy it was expensive like it was crazy but when we moved here we we're lucky enough to get a provider that both our gas and electricity, meaning the heating, the light, mm -hmm. monthly, in summer, in winter, whichever, is £72 every month. Wow, <laughs> that is cheap. Yes. So it's direct debit. Wow. So it just goes. What they do, how they make up is, you know, in summer right now, for at least three to four months, you don't own your heater, you know, because it's too warm. Just like now, it's so warm. So well, I say, wish I can even say that because even here in summer, at times it's cold. The weather is fine today, but there are times that it's so cold, so windy. And because of my baby, I have to own the heater. Yeah, most because you've got a newborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah but for us. Especially at night. Right. But for us, because, you know, we, I think, I don't know, my children are just used to. In summer, we don't own heating. Even if it's a bit cold, you can still use blanket and it'll be fine. So during that summer, they will now save that money for your heating towards the winter. So we just pay the flat rate of £72 every month, summer or winter. So it's a contract for one year for now, and then we can renew it. I don't know, maybe it will be increased by then. Oh, so that is cheap in Scotland. Yay! Two one! <laughs> two one. That's cheap in Scotland. Because now I did not even add the amount I'm using to buy oil. oil. This is just heating. Oh, yeah, for just me, honest. my husband, and the baby, and we are spending fifty-one pounds mm -hmm. weekly for heating. Buying oil, yeah. hmm. that one is about ah, one hundred and something pounds. So, but that oil yeah, can last us the whole month or maybe two months if okay. we are to fill our tank three hundred liters. If we are to buy that, it should carry us for like two months. So that would be let's just say about two hundred pounds yeah you see so two one so i don't even know about the but, oil i've never used the oil thing but i just know about gas i've never and... used the gas i've never used the gas but wow. for us to save electricity in this period we don't even turn on most of the things now we turn off our tv when we are not washing it especially when we are charging our phones we have to turn it off from the socket do you know the thing that my husband is even making us do now if you want to wash plates you don't even turn on the water heater again <laughs> you have to boil water. Ah. <laughs> boil ah. water with the electric kettle. Oh yeah. <laughs> to wash plates just because of the bees, just I to understand. save on the electricity. So Northern Ireland is actually expensive on that part. Yes. Yeah, so Scotland, two one. <laughs> so let's talk about um shopping. Let's just I'm going to talk about African food because I know shops they are mostly about the same price when you talk about Aldi, Asda those mm. cheap ones so let's talk about african food how accessible and how affordable is it to get you know if you don't get your food that's where my own sickness is to start if i don't get african food <laughs> then i've gone to the abroad but as long as you get the food it still gives you the vibe of you know from home thing so how accessible do you how, how close is it how how many shops are there around? not no. 
we don't have a lot of options here. Because since I've been here now, I've only seen like two African shops here. Wow. Yeah, just too close to me. Maybe they have other African shops far away, but yeah. African shops near me, they are just too in Belfast. So we don't have a lot of options. And that we, I think that also increases the price. Not having a lot of options also increases the price. Now we used to buy plantain, a finger of plantain for 150p. I don't know how much you get buy it in Scotland, but here 150p to one pounds. Before it used to be three, one pounds, but now two, one pound. So it's, Mm. African food is a bit expensive in Northern Ireland, Shao. A bit, but it's not. It's not. A, it's not. Um, the difference is not much. Because when I went to Scotland, I was in Scotland two months ago. I bought okay. food from Scotland. Yeah. Really. I had, yes, I bought food. From... <laughs> Where did you come, Edinburgh? <laughs> no, I went to Glasgow. Oh, Glasgow food. The African food is cheap in Glasgow. Yeah, I went to Glasgow. So. African food is actually cheap there to the point that I really had to buy and stock my bag. <laughs> so I used the ferry to come back because of Airport Wahala. Okay. So I stocked my bag from there. So I know that food in Scotland is a bit cheaper than Northern Ireland. You're yes, also giving me a point. Is not much. You're giving me a point. Might be <laughs> the a difference point. is not much. <laughs> the the difference time. is not much. Yeah, you don't defend yourself. Because there was a time I posted something on Facebook and I know of this uh, couple in Northern Ireland. And she was like, oh, just come to Northern Ireland. Just come to Northern Ireland. Because I was trying to see how expensive getting African food was. And she was just I'm like, ah, is it cheaper there? But for us, when it comes to accessibility, the places we are living, I don't even know. Especially the first place we are living, we're the only black com black family in the whole community. Mm -hmm. So no single African shop in that town, none whatsoever. For us to get African food, we used to go to Edinburgh, which you have to drive. Then it's about thirty something minutes away. Right now, where we are in Five, there are loads. I've seen black community because of my church, but there are no African shops. That is closed. You have to still go to Glasgow, to Edinburgh to get African food. Oh, so it's what? almost like the same thing because here too, for me to get African food, I have to drive to Belfast. And that's almost 40 minutes drive. Around 30 mine minutes 45. to 40 minutes drive. So no, it's mine almost is 45. the same. Oh, it's just the same. It's almost the same. So mine it's is almost 45 the same thing. But I still think you guys have more options in Scotland hey. than here. I still think so. I you know, see, when I went to Glasgow, mm -hmm. there oh i've forgotten the name of the place but there is like a center where you have different shops there and i was counting african shops i was like look at one there look at another one even when i put it on my map african shops near me different options were coming up. came out okay even this uber eats oh god that is even one see i almost moved out of northern ireland because of this thing really? <laughs> when i was pregnant i was craving a lot of african foods but they are not available. And I didn't want to enter the kitchen and start stressing myself to be cooking this, cooking that. So I wanted somewhere that I'll just go online and do, okay, I'm ordering this, 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 and then they'll yes, deliver it to my house. Order. In Northern mm -hmm. Ireland, mm -mm, nothing like that. There's one oh, person, really? yeah. there was one lady that I got in contact with, but that lady is not even serious. She sent a message today before she will reply in two days' time after the craving mm. has already disappeared. Right. So there was nothing like Uber Eats. But when I was in Glasgow, mm, everything I ate was African food. I was ordering, mm -hmm. they would deliver it to my hotel. I was like, oh my God, I wish I can move to Scotland. But my house will not let me move to Scotland. Your house is true, it's possible. Glasgow, <laughs> there are loads. Because we asked ourselves, yesterday I was speaking to my husband because he was in Edinburgh and he was asking if he should go to African shop. I said, no, let's go to Glasgow because in Glasgow, you get. Like I bought a pack, a whole box of yam. I think it was about twenty-five pound, and a whole box, and there were loads inside, plantain and stuff, red oil and all, and even meat. Assorted meat. They have butcher in Glasgow, where we go. In fact, very cheap. Maybe one kilo of meat can be four pound, five pound. So, see, honestly, when I came back from Glasgow, I almost moved though. I I see? thought of it. 
Honestly, I thought of him because my church is even there in Glasgow. Oh so when I was there, I attended service. I was like, oh God, let, let me just move. Let me move. But I know I will not see this kind of house. House, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Glasgow is really affordable. And you see loads of variety in Glasgow because you have yeah. schools, you have hospitals. Yeah. So maybe it's two, two. Do you want me to take the point? No. Just be no, nice. No, no, no. I think no. <laughs> give me the point. <laughs> no, I'm not giving you the point. I think it's too. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's make it too too then. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to community, because even back then when I was coming to the UK, they were like, go to Northern Ireland. There are loads of black community. You can form community to help yourself <laughs> with child care. You drop your children over because then my husband refused to leave Dubai. He said he was not coming. So I was I was applying to bring them alone. So I was thinking of my options then. So how 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 often do you see black people, black community, and how strong? Because I heard it's like a whole army of black community in Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying they don't pay for wait, investing? Wait, let me pay thousands. If you convert it to Nigerian money, it's millions. Mil, mil, That's mil. So you don't need to pay international school fees. Okay.